Hello, this is your big sis, Rowena Starling, checking in. I, uh, I, I was struck by a, well, it's not a post, it was a news report uh, a week ago or so that uh, I saw that had a headline of the highest domestic violence rate uh, is against black women of all the people in this country black women take the brunt of the highest domestic violence rate hmm. you know when i was a, a little girl my mother and her brother would get into physical fights and at the time it i don't know since i was a little kid it felt like some sort of norm like, oh, this is what people do, okay, and uh, and it wasn't often, but I I remember it happening a couple of times. And since I was a little girl, you know, it appeared to me my mother was holding her own, <laughs> you know, in those fights, <sighs> the fights with my stepfather, not so much. The both of us were literally put were literally put out of the house on one of those fights. I don't remember how long we were out there, but my mother was throwing rocks at the house and it was hot out there. But I do remember thinking to myself, oh well, now wait a minute, this is insane. When I grow up, I'm not doing this. <laughs> no, no, no. I made a decision then about what was going to be happening on that front. And I held to that mostly, uh, but the real decision was to live by the saying, when you find a fool, leave him. I think that's Proverbs 14 and seven. No hanging around to try and make sense of it or figure it out, or I love them too much. Clearly, if it's not going both ways, I get out and get on. Go. I mean, really, if you find yourself in a confrontation with one of the great apes, <laughs> I mean, think about it. Are you gonna fight fair? At the very least, I know you're not gonna try to fight fair. That is a mistake. I mean, if you can't go, go all the way. <laughs> At least four black women and girls were murdered per day in the United States in 2020. According to the statistics released by the FBI just a couple of weeks ago, a sharp increase compared with the year before. The FBI recorded at least 405 additional murders of black women and girls last year as the homicide surged across the country. And experts caution that even that stark number represents an undercount. An undercount. The, num the numbers are horrid for black men as well. I mean, frankly. Now, as mothers of black women, <laughs> mothers of black mothers. I do not hate sounding like a broken record on this, but the, rem the remedy is divine radiation, meditation, and making a point of freeing your mind so that your ass can follow. You know what I mean? <laughs>